Hey everybody, thanks for joining the Titans of CNC Academy user group. My name is Billy Boyce. Right now I'm going to do a um, quick walkthrough um, of how to just do a real simple model in Fusion 360. Um, this is for those of you who are uh, looking to learn CAD CAM or those of you who are already experts and have never used Fusion 360. So first thing I'm going to do is create a sketch. Uh, I'm going to do that by coming up here to the top left and I'm going to click sketch and I'm going to do rectangle and a center rectangle. And first thing it's kind of wanting to know is where do you want to place the sketch? So it's showing me um, three options, uh, top, front, and right. So that'd be top, this would be right, and this would be front. I know that because of this cube up here that has labels on it. So I want to drop this sketch on the top plane. So I'm going to choose right here and everything's going to kind of reorientate and change my view to the top. So now I'm looking down on my part. I'm going to go ahead and just select right here. I'm going to kind of just drag out. We have this highlighted text it's asking for input what do I want the dimensions to be so now I can type 1.5 and I'm gonna press tab to get over to the other one and we'll just say uh, 4 now I'll press enter and we have our sketch um, I wanna go ahead and uh, make this sketch a solid model so I'm gonna right click and say press pull and it's asking for a selection so I'm gonna select that sketch and I can create this a couple different ways I can click and hold here and drag it out or I can just fill in this distance box and let's say 0.5 press enter there's a solid model right there let's go ahead and add um, a couple fillets let's round these corners off so we're going to do that by modifying. So we're going to go modify, fill it. And what's nice about Fusion is I can kind of select through the model. I know there's an edge there. So instead of having to rotate it around and look at it, I can just select right through the part. I'm going to go ahead and select all four corners. And then I'm just going to type in 0.125. Say enter. And let's add a chamfer. Let's, let's add a nice little 45-degree uh, angle at the top of this. So we'll go Modify, Chamfer. I'll just select this edge, and I'll say a point 0.1. Say Enter. And just like that, we, we've now got um, a, a chamfer there. Let's, um, let's try to add um, a, a pocket in the center there. So again, we'll go Sketch. We'll say rectangle, and this time I'm going to do a two-point rectangle. And I'll just choose this surface. Again, it's wanting to know, well, where do you want to sketch this? Do you want to do it on the uh, front plane, right plane, top, or do you want to do it on a part of your model? So I want to do it on the top of my model. So I'm just going to go ahead and select the top of the model, and I'm just going to click kind of move this around and get where what I want and I'll just click again and it'll drop that sketch down um, I want to add some dimensions I don't know where this this rectangle is um, so let's add some dimensions so we're gonna come over we're still in the sketch so we'll go sketch sketch dimensions I'm gonna select that and the edge of my part let's do a quarter inch 0.250 Enter. I want a dimension over here. And let's just say I want the exact same dimension. There's a couple ways I can do this. I can type it in. Or while this is blue and selected, I can click another dimension. And you see it just adds that little equation in there. I press enter and it changes it to that quarter inch. And really neat thing when you do that is I can change this dimension now to an eighth, 0.125, enter, and it changed that other one as well. So I want to add another dimension. 
So I'm going to go to sketch dimension. I'm going to choose here and here. Let's make that a quarter, 0 0.250. And again, I want to add a dimension over here. And I want to copy that dimension again. So I'm just going to select it and press enter and I'll leave it alone. Let's go ahead and cut this pocket. So I'm going to right click, say press pull, and it's asking for a selection again. I can select this outside, which might be a little strange, or I can select this. So I'm going to go ahead and select this. I'm going to change our view. I'm going to come up here and hit the home button and that'll kind of orientate us this direction. And I'm just going to pull this down. Eh, let's actually add a number in. So I'm going to come over here to distance. I want it to go into the part, so I'm going to say minus 0.375. I'll say enter. And now we got that pocket. Let's go ahead and add fillets again. So we'll go to modify, fillet. Let's choose all four corners. and we'll make this a quarter inch, 0 0.250. Enter. That looks good. Let's go ahead and break that edge again too. So we'll go modify, chamfer, click that edge. We'll make this a real small one, 0 0.01. Enter. So those are just some of the uh, cool features of Fusion 360. Um, if you'd like um, to go to the website, that's academy.titansofcnc.com. There are plenty more tutorials that will walk you completely through projects. Um, we'll teach you lots of neat tricks. Um, there's a few places you can find these videos. Um, you can go under Education, and you can choose a series, which usually has um, more than one part that we walk you through. Uh, we recommend starting at the building blocks. That is 10 shapes with lots of cool features. And if you click on like the Titan 1M, we have a, a series of videos there. Uh, the first video will teach you how to design it. Pretty much go over it, how we just went through that part. Uh, walk you completely through it. Uh, the next video, we will teach you how to add the cam to it so you can uh, machine it. And then finally, we take you out to the machine and we machine it. So check it out, academy.titansofcnc.com. And welcome to the user group. Thank you very much for joining.